Hi guys, it's Marty Dread here from letsbuildwp.com and in this video we're going to be covering what I consider to be 7 of the best free WordPress plugins for beginners. See, I've been using WordPress myself for about 7 years now and throughout this time I've used a ton of free plugins. Some of these plugins have been great and some of them have been terrible but the 7 plugins in this list are some of my favourite free WordPress plugins to date. They're all plugins that I personally use myself on almost every website or blog I create with WordPress and I really think they're going to help you. They're all available to download for free from wordpress.org forward slash plugins or directly from within our WordPress dashboard. Before we get into the list though, I just want to quickly mention that WordPress plugins are only available for wordpress.org and aren't going to work on wordpress.com. If you want to learn how to set up a website or blog with WordPress.org, if you go to letsbuildwp.com forward slash WP 101 course, you can access my free WordPress 101 course, which will show you exactly how to set it up. But without making you wait any longer, here's what I consider to be 7 of the best free WordPress plugins for beginners. Number 1. WP Smoosh A website or blog is nothing really without some nice images to bring it to life, but the problem with this is that after a while these images start to take a toll on our resources and cause our site to run slower than it could. Google have even stated in the past that site speed will have a direct impact on how our site is ranked in the search engines, so it's important to make sure that our site's running as quickly as possible. That's where the WP Smoosh plugin comes in handy. This plugin takes all of our different images and compresses them to their lowest possible file size without taking away from the image's quality. Using this plugin on a website or blog with lots of images can make a huge difference to our site's overall speed and it only takes us a few minutes to set up and run. Once the plugin's been installed and activated on our site, we can hover over where it says Media on the left side of our dashboard and then click WP Smoosh. Then to compress our images we just need to click the Bulk Smoosh button. The plugin's then going to compress all of the different images on our site and once it's finished it's going to show us how much space we managed to save. This is normally pretty damn impressive and all without taking away from our images quality. Then there's even an option to auto compress any new images we upload, which means we never really need to worry about our image file sizes in future after the initial setup. This is an awesome free plugin and I would highly recommend it. Even if we only have a few images on our site, it should still make a noticeable difference to our site's loading times. Number 2. Limit Login Attempts Reloaded This is a simple but super effective security plugin and basically it lets us set a limit for how many times someone can attempt to log into our site with the wrong details before being locked out. You might be under the impression that you're the only person trying to log in, but after installing this plugin, you might be shocked at just how many people and bots are trying to gain access to your site. I'm not trying to make you paranoid or anything. Most of the time it's just bots or visitors thinking it would be funny if they managed to guess the password, but one day it could be a real hacker and you'll be glad that you installed the plugin. Then to set it up, after it's been installed and activated, we just need to hover over where it says settings in our left dashboard menu and then click limit login attempts. At the top we'll see how many times the plugin's been triggered, then under options we can set how many field attempts we allow before lockout and how long the person will be locked out for. Then we just need to click the save button at the bottom. Just be sure not to set the plugin to allow only one field attempt as we all mistype our passwords sometimes and it can be a little bit of a headache to get back into our site if we get locked out. But other than that, the Limit Login Attempts Reloaded plugin is definitely a good one to have installed and it's going to help make our site a lot more secure. Number 3. Insert Headers and Footers 
Sometimes we're going to need to add what are known as tracking codes to our WordPress site for setting up things like Google Analytics or Google AdSense ads. These tracking codes need to be added to our WordPress theme files, which can be a little bit risky if we don't know exactly what we're doing. So instead of risking potential disaster by editing our WordPress theme files directly, we can use the Insert Headers and Footers plugin. This plugin, once installed, allows us to quickly and easily insert these different tracking codes into our WordPress site without ever having to go near our theme files. After the plugin's been installed, we just need to hover over where it says Settings on the left hand side of our site and then click Insert Headers and Footers. Now we can just paste in any of the tracking codes we're wanting to add to our site and then click Save at the bottom. This is another simple but effective free plugin and I'd highly recommend it if you're just getting started with WordPress. Number 4. Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. So this plugin might have a really long name that's kind of hard to remember at times, but it's actually a super handy plugin which I end up using all the time. It basically allows us to have all the functionality and options of the WordPress post editor in our widget areas. This means we can easily add images, HTML code, videos, clickable links and anything else we would normally be able to add to our pages, to our sidebars and other widget areas. After installing and activating the plugin, we'll see that we have a new widget called Visual Editor and all we need to do is drag this new widget into one of our available widget areas and we'll see that we now have the same options that we would have when adding a page or post. So just before we move on to the next plugin in the list, I wanted to take a quick second to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I release WordPress tutorials on this channel every week, along with other videos like this one, to help you improve your WordPress website or blog. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, please click the subscribe button below this video, and if you want to be notified of new videos, just click the little bell icon as well. Thank you very much in advance and sorry for the interruption. Now back to the free plugins. Number 5. Yoast SEO Just in case you're not already aware of this, SEO or search engine optimization is basically the practice of trying to get our website or blog to rank higher in the search engine results. So for example trying to get to page 1 of Google for our chosen search term. The Yoast SEO plugin adds a whole heap of different functionality to our site and it's basically the go-to SEO plugin for WordPress with over 1 million people using it at the time of recording. The plugin has a lot of different parts to it so it would make this video a little too long to go through them all right now but I'll link to another video on my channel underneath which will show you how to set up the Yoast SEO plugin in detail. The video was created by my friend Alex over at WP Eagle. Number 6. Revision Control Every time we update a page or post on WordPress, WordPress will go ahead and save a revision copy of it. The revision copy is basically the original page or post before we updated it. Now this is a real good feature as it means that we'll always have the ability to go back to a previous version of a page if we realize the new version sucks. But there's no real need to save a revision copy every time we update a page or post. This can end up being quite a lot in the long run and each of these revisions are going to take up resources that could otherwise be helping make our site run a little smoother and faster. The revision control plugin allows us to set a revision limit which means that only a certain amount of revision copies will be saved. Once the plugin's been activated we just need to hover over where it says Settings on the left side of our dashboard and then click Revisions. Then here we can set how many revisions we want kept for posts and how many we want for pages. I usually have mine set to three copies for each as you never know when we might need to go back to a previous version. Then we just need to click Save Changes at the bottom and now going forward WordPress will only keep that many revisions. Number 7 BJ Lazy Load. When we visit a page on a website or blog, all of the images on that page load up as soon as we land on it 
and this is normally the main cause of slow loading websites. What the BJ Lazy Load plugin allows us to do is make it that only the images that will be visible right away load up at first, then the other images will start to load as the visitor scrolls further down the page, only loading the images when they start to come into view. Just like with the WP Smoosh plugin, BJ Lazy Load can dramatically increase our site speed, which in turn can help us with our search engine rankings. And what makes this plugin especially awesome is the fact that there's zero setup involved. We just simply install and activate the plugin, and all of our images will be lazy from now on. To be honest, the BJ Lazy Load plugin is probably one of my favourite plugins on the list, just because of how effective it is and how easy it is to set up. So that's us now at the end of this list. And that was what I consider to be 7 of the best free WordPress plugins for beginners. Then finally, if you want to download this list of plugins, it's available to download for free as a PDF by going to letsbuildwp.com forward slash plugins PDF. The PDF list also contains another 7 free plugins, so there are actually 14 plugins altogether, and they're all just as awesome as each other. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like to show your support, and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress videos published every week. Once again, my name's Marty Dredd from Let'sBuildWP.com, and thank you very much for watching my video.